Hey there! I want to show you how I can low test my app. And I will just uh, start with the pet clinic application. We're gonna use a fork. I will deploy that to Azure App Service using three simple Maven commands. And then I will set up the load testing. So first of all, here's the repository and I will just run the uh, Azure Web App Maven plugin config command. There I will search for the project. It will build my project. And then I have to select application. I will define the app name and resource group. If you just hint at uh, enter, it will stay with the defaults. So when my build is successful, I can now clean and package my project to retrieve the jar file. And then I can just use the maven web app deploy command to deploy my app to the specified um, resource group. So when I want to deploy, I have to log in. That's what you can see here. And then there you go. This is my app already. So here I can see the veterinarians and also the owners. I can also add a new owner and that's it. So that's basically my app up and running on Azure App Service. I can also, you know, create some errors here and then I will just have a look. Here is my pet clinic app. As I said, it's a app service running on Azure. You can see here Java 17, the version. I have a Linux machine set up. I can also enable application insights to then have those ones shown in my load test as well. So next step is to create the load testing. Um, let's see, here's my monitoring. Yeah, because you know, we would, yeah. So how can I monitor this app? I will just enable application insights and then in order to see something, I also have to generate some traffic. And to do so, I can easily, you know, just go on the web app and create something again. And I can also see that at the application dashboard. But when I really want to do some metrics and see something, I would have to generate load. And to do so, I will open up the portal again and then go on load testing. Azure load testing runs with JMeter under the hood. So I can just create a new one. I will select the same resource group. I give it a name. I select my region. It should be the same as my resource group is in. And then I hit on review and create and create it. After I got created, I can create a new test. So here I go on the resource of the load testing. I hit on click create and here I could also just use the URL base but since I already have the geometer test script I can just select this one so here I will select the file my load test gmx file I have to upload it <laughs> I have to upload it and otherwise I will receive this error you've just seen here then I hit on review and create and I'm gonna create this one don't worry if you, like me, select just one engine and you want it perfectly to have like eight to just generate more load, you can change that afterwards. So here you can see my load has been created. And yeah, go ahead, try with this, use more um, engines, you know, put really some stress on your load tests here. We can already see some good results here and now you can uh, dive a little bit more into why is it slow, why is it fast. And here's also the session we've just done at JDConf. And here you can also see the errors which are generated during our load test. You can also see how the response time is going down uh, when the load is generated. That's basically how our JVM is warming up and getting more and more performant. So thanks for watching. I hope you can deploy your web app as easy as I just did with those three Maven commands. Here's the doc page with more info and here's the link for the load test. Happy coding. Talk to you soon. Bye bye.